Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Mario Kart 8. Apparently, the Egg Cup was the ninth one and not the fifth one, like it should look like. Um, so that's a, a bit of a surprise. Uh, we're going to go with, if since it's going to be Leaf, we'll go with the closest Leaf we can get, and that's going to be Tanuki Mario today. And we didn't unlock anything new. So, I guess we still haven't done the Master Cycle. We haven't done a lot of things. That's... Oh, come on. There, the Master Cycle. And, well, I guess tires don't matter, so off-road tires. Oh, come on. I hate the control stick for at least this menu. Parafoil, why not? So, yeah, the next one is the, oh, it's the Crossing Cup. I guess the ones that were supposed to be done were Shell, Banana, Leaf, and Lightning, which I guess does make sense, but we'll get to those soon enough. Let's do the Crossing Cup now, which ends with a very interesting course, the Animal Crossing one. Oh, first things first, the hardest course known to the Mario Kart series. At least I think it was Baby Park. I don't remember for sure. I, I hope it is, because otherwise I just feel silly. Yeah, Baby Park. However, this time, it's Anti-Gravity Baby Park. Not that that really changes anything. Yeah. So, you've, you've seen the entire course. It's a very tiny um, dirt biker, no, excite bike one. And you have to do seven laps, but the laps are done so quick, it's never really too, too big of a deal. Like, here, we'll, we'll, we'll time one out, because we've already done most of a lap. So, oh, triple mushrooms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There was my very scientific tactic of a lap. They take like no time at all, which is good because this this course is chaos because of how small it is. Because it's it's one of those ones that you can consistently expect yourself to in fact uh, lap people. And like one bullet bill will get you a full lap at least. It's crazy. But, I mean, that's part of the fun. Wahoo! Indeed, Mario. I don't know why, in all these, like, Mario Kart, Mario Party, I never want to play as Mario. It's just one of those things. I guess it's just not the same since... Oh, that's cheap, game. Oh, sorry, someone stole your, um, blue... Uh, someone stole your only defensive item against blue shells. Well, congratulations, here's a blue shell. But right after. I don't even think I got a quarter of the course, and these are, this is a quick course. If I lost first place because of my own shell... Oh, hey! Actually, I like this one second. Seven coins, seven laps, seven laps. I like that part. That was a good ending for it. But I still, if I lost first place because of my own green shell, I'd be pretty, pretty upset. That's a bit much. I didn't even check who we're worried about this lap. But we're going into Cheese Land. Oh, and it's from the Game Boy, so it's one I definitely have not really played. But at least Chain Jump is here to um, guide us the way. Uh, looks like it's Ludwig and I didn't see who else. Ludwig, and I guess someone else is going to try to pass me today? But yeah, I don't understand why Cheeseland is a desert of all places. Like, I'm sure there's a better place for cheese. It's basically anywhere refrigerated kind of comes to mind. And we were crushed by Chain Chomp. So, looks like there's plenty of little shortcuts, because that, that's one right there to the right. Uh, Baby Park, 
expectedly there is none. And you'd think the villager would actually be putting up a bigger fight, since this is supposed to be his sort of course. Wait, did I just turn into ten, like, the stone Mario while I was in the air? Because that's, that's showboating to the extreme. I wonder if you'd be technically invincible to um, blue shells when that happens. Because, I mean, on paper you should be. That's like the main thing of the Genesis form, is that it's invincible. Again? Come on, I thought I, had, I gave plenty of space that time. We are not getting any luck this round. Uh, we're staying in first, so that's good. But we're getting hit by everything. I want to try to go through at least one of the events, so if they could try to shoot me with a blue shell, that would actually be uh, optimal. Because I could use some way to actually... There we go! Finally got to use the super horn again for its intended use. Okay, seriously, they're just like, no, you can't use it like that. And they kicked us out of using our um, parachute, because like to me that made sense as a path we could take. So yeah, huge gap gain just for taking that one, even though I slowed down from it. Like, we made a decent position for our driving in that case. Because we drove... Um, off. We slowed down a bunch, but uh, we skipped a large curve. It, it just shows the power of those little shortcuts. And if you had a mushroom or some way to speed up, it would be great. Welcome to Wild Woods. Which, I know it's a bunch of shy guys, it just reminds me of the, the Nahon village from um, Xenoblade. I don't even know why, it doesn't even look like it at all. But, I guess it's considered a giant tree. But yeah, you would think it'd be like, no, it reminds you of Shy Guy Jungle from Paper Mario. Or anything like that. Or sorry, Yoshi's Jungle. I don't know. The Shy Guys of Tribesmen in there. It's been a while since I've played Paper Mario, but still. But no, it doesn't even make me think that. It makes me think of a completely unrelated series. On the bright side, this water does seem to speed you up a bit. I like it just because it gives money. How many taunts does everyone have just for jumping a bunch? I saw a little bit of that with Yoshi, but I think short of... Uh, running that with... Oh, steals all my items. Running that with every single character just to see it? Uh, I wouldn't know. So, see, is Ludwig gonna sneak in front of us for that? He stayed about the same, so those paths don't seem to have any big time difference between them. It's just a more direct route, I guess. Oh, that speed boost was not well timed. Crashed me right into the wall. <gasps> Little me is taking over. That's fun. You need a you need a mushroom for it's not going to be worth it otherwise because I don't think you could even clear that gap without a mushroom speed. So, 
we have a little bit of protection in case they just try to directly pass us. But since most of the time it's hit us with lightning and then... Um, or blue shell us, I don't know how helpful that's going to be. And there it is, there's the end. Third course completed. And that was probably the closest call we've had trying to get um, first place. Because Ludwig has just been popping up on us every time. And Daisy actually took third, which means Mario is even further, like Baby Mario is even further behind now. The Animal Crossing Cup, and I love the little balloons holding the item blocks up. Um, I guess that means we're going to be gliding in. It looks like we're doing this in the middle of summer, I guess is this one, because it, it doesn't look all bloomy like uh, spring would be. And it's definitely not as snowy as winter is. Uh, so I guess we're doing this course in the sun. Like, all the leaves aren't dying, so that's fall gone. Unless it's meant to be like you drive through all four seasons. But I, I thought it was a just a... Yeah. Um, just a single lap. Like, not a single lap, sorry. A, a single season sort of situation. Though it has a beautiful village. I wonder if this is modeled after, like, city folk. Because I know it, it doesn't look similar enough to uh, New Leaf. So, all I can think of. Because, like, that giant tree. Okay, there's that. But it's not Main Street. It's not enough stuff for Main Street. Oh, here comes. Uh, we just lost some of our bells. Oh, but that orange does work like a uh, mushroom, which kind of surprises me. I mean, it makes sense, because even the money is converted to bells, but bells kind of already looked like coins, so it wasn't too much of a change there. But oranges look nothing like mushrooms. So, I don't know, they're really breaking the immersion. But I think Mario, in his Tanooki suit, fits in great in this town. He's the perfect blending. He's part, he's part mayor, I guess, if it's from Animal Crossing, uh, New Leaf, and he's part villager, so it works out great. But I love the there's the museum in here. There's the Able Sisters. Uh, there's all sorts of villagers that you just can see consistently. So it, it's a very well thought out course. Lighthouse out there. Oh, there's KK Slider. I wonder if they have anything special like they do in uh, Smash Brothers with KK Slider. If you want to take the right time for doing that one fighting board, it gives you a special KK concert or whatever in the background. I wonder, one, if that's a thing, and two, if anyone's just basically done the race with a team of 12 people just to sit and watch the concert. Because I feel like I definitely would want to do that. Alright, let's view the results. I think we did pretty good on this one. Um, I believe we got all first places, so that should be another 3 star. I'm not looking forward to trying to do this in 150 and 200 to get the 3 stars, but um, for 100 I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. But there we go. Technically Cup 10 done. I just, it felt weird to me. Oh, and here we go. Here's where our new customization options unlocked. I think we were actually sitting at like 179 before, so I, I'm pretty upset that I didn't make it. Beforehand. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, we're at 215 now, so we're well past the 180 mark. So we must have been right there, um, right before it. See you guys next time for 
what I guess is the shell cup, I think is the one that it's supposed to be. Do you guys that? 